Hello friends, now we will start the conic section. This is very important topics and also it is uh, tough topics. It requires too much hard work to learn this conic section. To understand all the concept given in every topics. And then you can solve each and every problems very clearly. Vidyarthi Mitro conic section. हाँ, बराबर की टॉप टॉपिक्स आए, यहाँ तले सर्व कॉन्सेप्ट तुम्हाला नेट ग्रास्प करना भी गर्जित है। मैं यह वीडियो में दे शुरुआतीला बेसिक डेफिनेशंस के तले आए। I have taken all the basic definitions and in this video I considered the parabola. That is exercise 7.1. This is the big one exercise. Now let us start. The first of all, the definition of a conic. A conic section or the conic can be defined as the locus of point P in a plane such that the ratio of the distance of that is conic section means what suppose if we take the point p and the distance of this point p from a fixed point s whose coordinate is x y and fixed line these two distances bears a ratio and that ratio is denoted by E. And the shape of the this conic depend on the values of E. Manja apan echa madhe SP he distance find out karna ani PM. Ani tya dhokhan sa ratio asna re. Ani to ratio mala pratik da fix pai je. A shape points P me ya plane madhe ghena re and that is that locus is the locus of that will be the parabola ellipse and hyperbola but the value of e must be in a way that is a sp upon pm it depends on that type of the geometrical figure which may be parabola hyperbola and the ellipse a conic section or the conic can be defined as the locus of the point p locus means what if you take the point p here then again measure this distance sp pm again next point p next point p sp pm the ratio must be every time constant and if we all join all the points then you will get the locus in a plane such that the ratio of the distance of P from a fixed point to its a distance from a fixed line is constant SP upon PM that is a constant. Now in this case, I am considering this is the figure. This is the figure of the parabola. Here I had taken the point P and the, this distance, this is the focus and this is the perpendicular line from this point P. And every time this PF upon PB, the ratio is fixed. And if we join all such a points, then we get this type of the figure. Now next, SP upon PM, that is equals to E. And again, we get that ratio E. And if the value of that ratio is 1, then it is called a parabola. Therefore,
the conic section is called paraboloid. For the value of E lies between 0 and 1, then it is called the ellipse. Again here, if you take the point P, this is the S, this is the directrix, draw the perpendicular, join this point SP upon PM and the points such that the SP upon PM bears a constant ratio and the value of that E lies between 0 to 1. But every time it must be fixed. Then if you join all such a points, then you will get the locus. Manje SP, the samda the P point consider kela ya P point sa S pasun sa distance and perpendicular on the directrix. Then you will get the ratio. That ratio is, lies between 0 and 1. And that fixed value, if you take the number of such a points and if you join all these points, then you will get the, this locus and it is called the ellipse. It's called an ellipse. Again here I had shown SP and the PM. This is the directrix for the ellipse and S is the focus. The value of E for the ellipse lies uh, it, it is always less than 1. And for the next geometrical figure that E is greater than 1 means what E is called the eccentricity. Again in this case we will take the point on this hyperbola and the perpendicular distance from this directrix. The distance of that point from the focus upon the perpendicular distance on the directrix and that value is E and its value is greater than 1 then it is a hyperbola and joining all such a points then you will get the hyperbola the section is called e. now in this case sp upon pm that's a value is the hyperbola its value is a greater than 1. Some useful terms of uh, conic section axis. Now what is meant by the axis? Axis axis means a line about which a conic section is symmetrical is called and axis of the conic section next the vertex the point of intersection of a conic section with its axis of symmetry is called the vertex in case of the parabola if we take the standard parabola y square is equals to 4x it axis is x axis and intersection with the x axis that is the vertex of the parabola which is 0 0. Now see this here. We take here the parabola. This is symmetrical about the x axis. It intersects at this point and this is called the vertex of the parabola. The vertex of the parabola. Here is also vertex of the parabola. This is the vertex of the parabola. If you take the sorry ellipse, if you take this is the ellipse, 
and its equation is x minus h bracket square upon a square plus x y minus k bracket square upon b square is equals to 1. These two are the vertex. Again, these are the vertex. These are the co vertex. Again, in case of the hyperbola, these are the vertex. That is the intersection of intersection with the axis of the symmetry of that cone that is called the vertex this is the vertex this is the hyperbola and this is its axis of symmetry and the intersection with this point is called the vertex now next is focus Focal distance. The distance of a point on a conic section from the focus is called the focal distance of the point. parabola The point P, this is the vertex. PF, this is the focus distance distance of this point from the focus and perpendicular distance on the directrix ratio that is the distance of the point from the focus and on the distance of the point from the directrix which is treated as e and it is for the eccentricity Next is this is the again I am showing the parabola. This is the ellipse and the hyperbola. Here is a focus. Here is a point P, whose distance from this focus and perpendicular distance. Again, we are taking the second point distance from the focus and perpendicular distance on the directrix. In this case, also that is a this is a focus, this is a point P, any point on this ellipse. We take this distance upon the perpendicular distance on the directrix. Again, here is a point and it's a distance from the focus and perpendicular distance on the directrix. And in this way, we take the, we take the number of the points and if we join all this, all these points, we get this type of the shape which is called the ellipse. In this case also, we take the number of the points and we, if we join all this, we get the ellipse. This is case of the hyperbola. So, directrix is here. Then here is a focus point. And if we join and take the ratio, and if we join all the points that locus is called the hyperbola. Again, this is also the shape of the parabola. In this case, all these are the points. And if we join all these points, and this is the focus distance and perpendicular on this directrix. If we take the ratio, and you will get the, every time that ratio is constant. And if we join all these points, then you will get the that locus is nothing but the parabola. Vegara Prakarja, the figures me a picture Madana is a prayer to Kijaniko to Malato concepts on Zen. It is a kill parabola hetela, a directrix of snare. A parabola is a vegara form. I put the average in the Sangilas to Mala. Different types of the forms of the parabola. Again, these are the points perpendicular on the directrix distance from the vertex. That is the sp upon again this is a pm we are say constant ratio and if we join all these points then you will get this is the parabola now the focal chord means what uh, this is also very simple when 
the cord passes through the center of a circle. It's called the diameter. Here is also when the if you take any two points on the particular cone, and suppose that that cord passes through the focus of this cone, then it is called the focal cord. When the circle chap of the Zarapan consider Kelaki, Ashi cord Gaichi Kiti, circle chap center Madna Zai, and that is called the diameter, or it is also called the focal cord. Konik chap of the Dikil Kasatai, Kyasa cord Gainar, that is joining the any two points of the Konik. A cord of a conic section passing through its focus is called a focal cord. Now, CVCR is also focal cord, this is the focus, and that cord passes through the focus of that parabola. Now, here is also this is the focus and if we see this eq this is the ellipse and this cord passes through the focus of this ellipse therefore it is called the pq is called the focal cord this is also the focal cord it is also perpendicular that is called the lattice rectum this is the focal cord now the in case of the hyperbola vertex of this hyperbola covertex now these are the foci Focal distance is 2b square upon a. This is the focal distance. Means what? Distance between these two points. Distance between the focus of this hyperbola. A servo concept nanta repeater sonare parantu. At a time, apan servo tini cha tini locus apni te bagna ro parabola hyperbola and ellipse. Now, what is mean by the latest rectum? A focal cord. Let us rectum means of the focal cord of a conic section which is perpendicular to the axis of the conic axis of symmetry. That is called the focal cord as the axis of symmetry la perpendicular as called the latus rectum. A focal cord of a conic section which is perpendicular to the axis of symmetry is called the latus rectum. Now see this here. This is the focal cord. It passes through this focus of this parabola and it is called the latus rectum. Again this is a latus rectum. This distance, my focal cord chi length kithi asnar parabola java ki. A y square is equals to 4x. Here upon learn karna rao. This is the directories. Y axis, x axis. Now here is a focus. That what is the length of this? The length of this is 2a. The length of this is also 2a. The length of the focal cord is 4a. Again, this is the focal cord. This is the focal cord. It is called the latus rectum. Ha, ellipse of the asnara latus rectum asare. This is the latus rectum in case of the ellipse. Again, this is the latus rectum when the parabola is in this form. That is x square is equals to 4by half form. Now it passes through this focus. Again, what will be this distance? This is the 4 and 4. The length of lattice rectum is 8. And this is the parabola whose equation is x square is equals to 
एट वाय वेगवेगळ्या प्रकारचे पॅराबोलाचा फॉर्म तुम्हाला मी दाखवण्याचा प्रयत्न करते या टाईपचे देखील पॅराबोला असणार मगे नाव सी दिस द लेटस रेक्टम आपला स्टैंडर्ड पैराबोला वी कन्सिडर हेर वाई स्क्वेर इज इक्वल्स टू फोर एक्स दीज आर द एंड पॉइंट ऑफ द लेटस रेक्टम हा लेटस रेक्टम है कि जो फोकस मन पास होता है दैट इज अ ए फोर ए टू ए एंड दिस इज द ए माइनस टू ए दिस इज द फोकस इक्वेशन वाई स्क्वेर इज इक्वल्स टू फोर एक्स ए इज अ पॉजिटिव वाई स्क्वेर इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस फोर एक्स ए इज अ पॉजिटिव This is the L L dash. The end points of this lattice rectum is a minus a to a, and here is a minus a minus two a. Here is a so lattice rectum which passes through the focus. Okay, okay, okay. Now AB is called the major axis, CD is called the minor axis. A B C D A B C D these are the vertices. O is the center. PQ is the focal chord. This is the focal chord. And F is the focus. R S R dash S dash R S R dash S dash. These are called the लेटस रेक्टम हे सर्व तुम्ही लक्षात ठेवायचं यू हॅव टू रिमेंबर ऑल दिस अगेन दिस इज द लेटस रेक्टम इट्स रिपीटेड टू ए अँड अगेन टू ए दॅट इज फोर ए लेंथ ऑफ द लेटस रेक्टम दिस इज ऑल्सो ऑल द मेजर एक्सिस देन इट इज अ मायनर एक्सिस इट इज अ टू बी लेटस रेक्टम लेंथ ऑफ सेमी मेजर एक्सिस इज ए Length of semi minor axis is B. Length of lattice rectum is a 2B square upon A. The same thing, same picture is repeated here. Now see this here. This is the parabola whose focus is 2. Now the equation is y square is equal to 4AX. means y square is equals to 8x whose focus is 2 0 and the directrix is x is equals to minus 2 again this is the hyperbola whose equation is x square upon a square minus y square upon b square end points of this lattice rectum s is focus a is our vertex and again this is the directrix that is the x is equals to plus a upon e this is the vertex tumhi te learn karnar achat pan to ya type cha tumhi figures atta pasun baga de kay kay terms astat tyachyamade now we will see the definition that is parabola a parabola is the locus of the point in the plane equidistant from a fixed point and a fixed line in that plane the fixed point is called the focus and fixed line straight line is called the directrix that is it this is the definition of the parabola again you can see is called the it is called that is a directrix now this is the parabola 
This equation is a y square is equals to 4x p is a point. This is the focus distance, perpendicular distance on this directrix. The equation of the directrix x is equals to a minus a. It is symmetric about the x axis. The standard equation of parabola. Equation of parabola in standard form y square is equals to 4 ax. This is the standard equation of this parabola. Let S be the focus. and d b the directrix this is the directrix of the parabola s is focus and this is the directrix let s z this is a S to Z. This distance is equals to, suppose it is a 2A and it is a perpendicular to the Y axis. Perpendicular to the directrix. Also it is a perpendicular to the directrix. Bisect the SZ at O means at the origin. Z have put a bisect or the original bisect. By the definition of parabola, the midpoint O is on the parabola. Take O as the origin, origin line OS as x axis the line through o perpendicular to os as the y axis vertical axis is to y axis is this is the y axis line through o And suppose that Z is equals to rho, where A is a positive, then the coordinates of the focus S is A0 and the coordinates of Z are minus A0. The equation of the directrix is z x is equals to minus a. This is the equation of the directrix. That is x plus a is equals to 0. This is the equation of the directrix. Let p x y be any point on the parabola pm which is a if you take the point p on this parabola and pm is perpendicular on the directrix and the ps the distance from the focus pm be the perpendicular to the directrix d m whose coordinate is now see this here pm is perpendicular and m now here is a x is equals to minus a minus a y these are the coordinate of the point m and this is the p s now in case of the parabola the value of eccentricity is one that is a sp upon pm 
is equals to 1. That is equals to E is equals to 1. Therefore, SP is equals to PM. Let's see this here. The point M minus K Y. By using the distance formula. SP X minus A. Because the coordinate of the point P R X Y. And the coordinate of the point S is A 0. X minus A bracket square plus y minus 0 bracket square pm the perpendicular on the directrix that is the distance the coordinate of the point p is x1 and the coordinate of the point m are a and y minus a and y therefore pm is x plus a bracket square y minus y bracket square by the focus directrix property of a parabola sp is equals to pm Focus direct is SP is equals to PM squaring on both sides. X minus A bracket square plus Y square is equals to X plus A bracket square plus 0. X minus A bracket square now we will expand this x square minus 2a plus y plus square x square plus 2a plus a square and solve this x x y a get cancelled y square is equals to 2x plus 2x therefore y square is equals to 4x this is the this is the standard equation of the parabola y square is equals to 4ax where A is a positive. Now see this activity. Trace the parabola using focus directrix property. Find the equation of parabola with focus at 2, 0 and the directrix is x plus 2 is equals to 0. Now P is any point on the parabola. S that is a 2, 0. This is the focus. SP is equals to PM. Therefore, X minus 2 bracket square plus Y minus 0 bracket square is equals to perpendicular distance of that uh, point P on the directrix x plus 2 upon uh, root of 1 bracket square x square minus 4x plus 4 plus y square is equals to x plus 2 bracket square x square minus 4x plus 4 plus y square is equals to x plus 2 again translations on both sides then you will get the equation of the that is the y square is equals to 4x plus 4x and that is equals to 8x. Focal distance. Now what do you mean by the focal distance? Distance of the point P from the focus. SP is equals to PM. X1 plus A. This is the focal distance. SP that is x1 plus a that is a, a plus abscissa of means what the x coordinate abscissa and the ordinate abscissa means x coordinate and the ordinate means y coordinate 
axis of the point P. Some other standard forms of parabola. These are the different forms. We have also seen this thing. Now see this, I will explain you. Now this is the parabola. How standard form is not Y square is equals to 4x x axis. This is a y axis. Now this parabola is a symmetrical about the x axis, vertex is origin that is a 0, 0. This is the focus. It is a denoted by here is a f. It is denoted by always that is a s whose coordinate is a 0. This is the directrix. It is equidistance. That is a it is a distance that is a x is equals to minus a. This is the equation of the directrix. These are the end points of the lattice rectum a and 2a and this is the l dash a minus 2a it is here again this is the parabola whose equation is of the form y square is equals to minus 4ax these are the end points of the lattice rectum now equation of for this parabola equation of the directrix is x is equals to a he directrix barobar ya y axis la ete parallel asnar end points of this uh, lattice rectum minus a to a minus a minus 2 a ya square madhe all types of the parabola get the that is y square is equals to 4x, y square is equals to minus 4x, y x square is equals to 4ay, x square is equals to minus 4ay. The vertex of all these parabola is a 0, 0, 0. The focus is a0, this is minus a0. What about this? This is the symmetrical about the y axis, manje a parabola is not that's a focus vaga. It's a focus is on the y axis. Therefore, x is 0 and y is a minus a. Sorry, y is a a. Uh, therefore, focus s is a 0 a. This is a focus. And in this case, x square is equals to minus 4 a y. It is in this form. Uh, equation of the directives for this first parabola is x is equals to minus a for the second parabola this is a x is equals to a and now in this case we treat this as sometimes it is written as b also here but here it has taken a no problem the equation of the directrix is this is the x axis and below x axis y is equals to minus a and in this case the equation of the directrix is y is equals to a these are the equation of the axis what is in this case on this parabola every time x is equal, y is equals to 0 here is also y is equals to 0 and in this case x is equals to 0 x is equals to 0 length of lattice rectum this is the 4a 4a every time the length of lattice rectum is a 4a equation of the that is the focal distance x plus a a minus x y plus a and y minus a now the parametric expressions circle chap of the dekhi lapan parametric x is equals to a cos theta and y is equals to a sin theta or x is equals to r cos theta and y is equals to r sin theta where a or r is the radius of the circle. In the same case the parametric expressions for the standard parabola is also written here that y square is equals to 4x, x is equals to 80 square and y is equals to 280. Hey, yeah, sometimes when we want to prove the properties of the parabolas 
then we required equation of the tangent in terms of the parametric form. Manun, ya sati tumala he laksha thevna paragar je chai. What are the parametric form of the parabola? That is x is equal to 80 square and y is equal to 280. Tavares tumala he lagna hai. Uh, next. Where t is a parameter. Next is tangent. A tangent to the curve is a limiting position of the second intersecting the curve in two points and moving so that those points of the intersection comes closer and finally coincides when it coincides that is a tangent to that given parabola find the equation of the tangent at t x1 y now we find out the equation of the tangent Circle job of the decal up an equation of the tangent find out kilo the condition from the tangency tangent from the exterior point of the circle. Yab of the decal here is also we will find out the equation of the tangent to the parabola. Find the equation of the tangent at p x1 y1. Equation of the parabola is y square is equals to 4x. Now the differentiate this equation. Now see this here, this is the parabola, it is of the form y square is equals to 4ax, this is the tangent at the point P. Actually, this is the application of the derivative that you will learn in the 12th standard. If you take any curve and differentiate it and find out the derivative at that point, then you will get the gradient at that point means you will get the slope paratu tumi he itech learn karata thoda sa tumhala shikayla to avgad janare nishitas karan ki ha pudcha concept hai ani ithe equation of the tangent tane ya basis var te derive kele ki to derivative che applications sa vapar karun ithe equation of the tangent tane develop kelele manun te kadachit samjayla tumhala ithe avgad jau shakta karan ki apan Baravi Mate, when we will learn the application of the derivative in the 12th standard, find the equation of the tangent to the curve. At that time, we find out the gradient and we use their differentiate, find the value of the derivative at that point, that is the gradient, that is the slope of the tangent at that point. Now see this differentiate. Again, this is the implicit derivative, that is the derivative of y square. Derivative of y square is a 2y into dy by dx. 4ax, the 4a is a constant and derivative of x is 1. Manun he, samdhaila thoda sa tumhala, nishita sa avgad dana re. Parantu, tumhi te learn karna kya ba te garja chai. Tumhanal the derivative of y square, ha ka sa ala 2y into dy by dx. But this is the implicit type of the derivative. Which we, which you will learn in the 12th standard. Okay. Now here you have to remember. How many syllabus are wonder each other? These applications, purvicha, abhyas karma madhe. How many section are bara will touch get la jai zata se. Par to to dekhil kar kya hua learn karna to me. When you will learn the application of the derivative, then you learn the conic section. Then you will find out the derivative of y square is equals to 4x. Because it is an implicit type of the derivative. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to 4a upon 2y. dy by dx at the point x1, y1. dy by dx at the point x1. Replace that xy by x1, y1. That is a 2a upon y1. Therefore, dy by dx. This is called the gradient. Means it is a called the slope. Other to mala slope may be point on the tangent. You can find out the equation of the line, which is the tangent to that curve at that point, by the slope point form. 
which is a, what is a slope point form? That is a y minus y1 is equals to m in bracket x minus x1. This is the gradient which is called the slope. That is a 2a upon y1. Question of line passing through the point P x1 y1 having slope 2a upon y1 by slope point form y minus y1 is equal to m in bracket x minus x1. Now simplify this. Now what's happening here? If we simplify this, that is a y square y, y minus y y1 2a minus a 2a x1. The value of y square is 4a x. Therefore, the upon a simplify kena, then you will get y y1 is equals to 2a x minus 2a plus 2a x1. Therefore, y y1 is equals to 2a in bracket x plus x1. This is the equation of the tangent. Equation of the tangent happens circles are different. Learn the standard circles are the general circles are the. This is also the equation. This is the equation of the tangent to the parabola. Y y1 is equals to 2a in bracket x plus x1. Now in the parametric form, this is also very simple. That is a t1 square and 2 a t1. That is replace x1 and y1 by a t1 square and 2 a t1. Now replace here y1 is 2 a t1 is equals to 2 a in bracket x plus a t1 square. That is a here is a 2a 2a get cancelled. That is a y t1 is equals to x plus a t1 square. Therefore, y t1 is equals to x plus a t1 square. This is the equation of the tangent in the parametric form. You can see. That is we find the equation of the tangent by using the calculus method that is by differentiating. Now condition of the tangency. Manjekai. When a given line is tangent to the given curve that is when the line is tangent to the parabola condition. In case of the circle we have also seen the that type of the condition that is c is equals to plus or minus a in under root of 1 plus m square for that circle but here it may be different to find the condition that the line y is equals to mx plus c is tangent to the parabola y square is equals to 4ax equation of the line y is equals to mx plus c now, mx minus y plus c is equals to 0. 
this is the equation of the line. Kutli line, the parabola, la, tangent, the chi condition, the happen prove karna. Now we are taking one line. Suppose y is equals to mx plus c. This is the tangent to the parabola. Then what will happen? Then what is the condition? Then the equation of the tangent. Upon j equation derived the level daily now. Tangent at p x1 y1 to the parabola y square is equals to 4x is y y1 is equals to 2a in bracket x plus x bar. This is the equation of the tangent to the parabola that we have derived. This is general line. When this line will be the tangent, but we have derived like this equation. Now we will compare these two lines are equivalent. Manje te adoni lines kasha the same same hai. That is here we are simplifying y y1 is equals to 2a in bracket x plus x1. Now they are multiplication. What is the multiplication? 2ax plus 2ax1. Ata he y y1 he term upon right hand side and error it will become minus and therefore overall you will get 2ax minus y1 y plus 2ax1 is equals to 0. Now see this here. Upon circle chap of the asas we have seen the same in case of the circle. Now equation 1 and 2 represent the same line. Comparing these two lines, comparing their coefficients of the like terms means what? Like terms means what? The coefficient of x. What is the coefficient of x is here? It is a 2a. What is the coefficient of y is here? Minus y1. And what is the constant here? The constant is a 2ax1. Therefore, equation 1 and 2. That is we get. Now, this is a Two a x these are the these are the two equations we are comparing here. What is that? The coefficient of x is here m coefficient of x is here two a coefficient of y is here minus one. Coefficient of y is here minus y1 and the constant here is a c, here is a 2ax1. If we compare it, when you enter the equation, the coefficient divided by the equation, the coefficient, cancel it. Two a upon m minus minus will become plus that is a y1 therefore 2 a x1 upon c at h1 apela y2 value y1 is equals to 2 a upon m again 2 a upon m is equals to 2 a x1 upon c therefore therefore That is x1 is equals to c upon m. P x1 y1. This is the point. That is c upon m and 2a upon m. Point lie on the. It satisfies the equation. y square is equals to 4x. That point satisfies which lies on that. We substitute their coordinates to a upon m bracket square is equals to 4a into c upon m. a upon m is equals to c. This is the required condition. When you quickly line the parabola as a tangent as a satisfy the line c is equals to a upon m. What is a? 
a is we take the from the equation of the parabola m is the slope of the line and c is the y intercept therefore c is equal to a upon m this is the required condition of the tangency in terms of the slope equation of the tangent in terms of the slope now what is that is y is equals to mx plus c replace here c by a upon m therefore we treat this as the equation of the tangent in terms of the slope and c upon m and the 2a upon m these are the point of the contact or a upon m square and 2a upon m these are the point of contact now this is uh, also some interesting topics that i have taken now see this this is the upper part of the naps this is the lower part and l is this this is the fixed line and m is the this is the m that is called the generator manje apan ek fixed vertical line getli ani ha je generator asnar ha ani ha je apan circular asa ite farvla then you will get the upper part of the nap and the lower part of the nap now see this here very interesting how these all these conic sections are generated let l be the fixed line and m is the another line intersecting it at a fixed point this is to intersect at the fixed point v incline at an angle theta ya sarva figures kasha generate jhala conic section madhe te apan ithe bagnar aho that is l is the fixed line this is a fixed line m is another line which is inclined vertically at an angle theta which is the acute angle and suppose that if we rotate that line m then such a way that that is the this is the generator and if you rotate it then you will get this type of the figure upper nap and the lower nap and if we take after getting that upper nap and lower nap and if we take their sections if we cut with it by the plane and the position of the plane is like this the plane is perpendicular to now see this very interesting the plane is perpendicular to the axis axis and does not contain the vertex then the intersection is called the circle now ithe baka tumhi the ha plane apan ghetlele ani ya upper nap la ithe intersect hote ani tyamadhe vertex pan yet nahi then if we they if you take their intersection then you will get the circle very interesting the plane is parallel to one position of the generator now this is the plane and this is the position of the generator ata ha plane ya generator cha position la parallel hai jar apan asa ithe cut kela cross kela then you will get this type of the shape and it is called the parabola therefore the plane is parallel to the one position of the generator this is my generator this is my generator this is the parallel this generator is a parallel to this plane and generator but not pass through the vertex ha generator ya vertex mana pass nahi hote and then you will get parabola next is the plane is a oblique 
to the axis and not parallel to and not parallel to the generator we get the ellipse here we get the ellipse if the double cone is cut by the plane parallel to the axis now this is the double cone and this is the plane which is parallel to this axis then we get the hyperbola now the next and last topic is in general two tangents can be drawn to a parabola now this is the point outside from this curve and we can draw the two tangents from this point to this parabola that is we want to prove that in general we can draw the two tangents from the point outside the parabola that is y square is equals to 4x and p x1 y1 this is the point any point in the plane of the parabola just in case of the circle we have also derived that we can draw the two tangents from a point outside the circle the same case is here now y square is equals to 4x that this is a parabola that we are taking and equation of the tangent is y is equals to mx plus a upon m since the tangent passes through the point px1 y1 we have y1 is equals to mx1 plus a upon m if we simplify this equation that is a m square x1 minus m y1 plus a is equals to 0 now this is the equation quadratic this quad, this is the quadratic equation it is quadratic in m it has the two values of them and that's why two slopes are there therefore we can draw the two tangents from a point from a point outside the parabola that is x1 m square minus y1 m plus a is equals to 0 quadratic equation in m and Thus, the general two tangents can be drawn to the parabola from a given point in its plane. If the tangent drawn from the point P are mutually perpendicular, circle jab apte dekhe la pana sa pailo teki. If we that two tangents are perpendicular to each other, then if we join all that points locus of that perpendicular tangent we get the director circle and its equation is x square plus a square is equals to 2a square now in this case also that is a m that two tangents are perpendicular that is m1 into m2 is equals to minus 1 then from that equation you will get m1 into m2 is equals to x upon a that is equals to minus 1 that is a x1 is equals to minus a which is the equation of the directrix therefore the locus of all such points that is a tangent drawn from that point whose the, tang whose the tangents are perpendicular to each other if we join all these points that locus is nothing but the directrix of the given parabola the directrix of the parabola now we'll start the exercise. now we'll start the exercise 7.1 find coordinates of focus equation of directrix length of lattice rectum and the coordinates of endpoints of lattice rectum of 
the parabola. Now the first is 5y square is equals to 24x. Therefore, y square is equals to 24 upon 5x. Comparing with y square is equals to 4ax, then you will get 4x is equals to 24 upon 5 into x. Therefore, a is equals to 24 upon 5 upon 1 upon 4, that is a 6 upon 5, therefore a is equals to 6 upon 5. This is the value of a, it's very important. Now coordinate of the focus is a0, which is a 6 upon 5. Equation of the directrix is x plus a is equals to 0. x plus 6 upon 5 is equals to 0. 5x plus 6 is equals to 0. Next is length of a lattice rectum. That is 4a. 4 into 6 upon 5. That is a 24 upon 5. Now the coordinates of the endpoints of let us rectum which is a 4 2 a and 2 a which is 6 upon 5 2 into 6 upon 5 that is a 12 upon 5 that is the l and l dash is a minus 2 a therefore the coordinates is 6 upon 5 minus 12 upon 5 yasati kumala particular types of parabola this is y square is equals to 4x you must know the formula and all the formulas for the endpoints of the letter item now y square is equals to minus 20x this is the parabola that is comparing with y square is equals to minus 4x and Now see this here. Its uh, focus is minus. You can remember all these formulas and you will get focus is minus 5 0. Equation of the directrices is x minus a is equals to 0. Therefore, x plus 5 is equals to 0. x minus 5 is equals to 0, that will be parabola. Now the length of the lattice rectum, that is a 4a, which is a 20. The value of a is 5. Coordinates of the endpoints of the lattice rectum, which are minus a to a. And minus a minus 2a, therefore minus 5, minus, minus 5 and 10, minus 5 and minus 10, these are the endpoints of the lattice rectum. Three x square is equals to 8y. This is the parabola. It is symmetric about the y axis. You can see it's equals to eight y square is equals to eight upon three y. Comparing with x square is equals to four b y. Four b y is equals to eight upon three y. B is equals to two upon three. The focus is S0, B. Therefore, focus is 0, 2 upon 3. Equation of directrix is Y plus B 
is equals to 0 that is a y plus 2 upon 3 that is a 3y plus 2 is equals to 0 length of the lattice rectum is 4b that is a 4 into 2 upon 3 that is 8 upon 3 coordinates of the end points of the lattice rectum this is a 2b b and b 4 upon 3 and 2 upon 3 and next is 2 minus 2b b, b minus 4 upon 3 and 2 upon 3 next is this is the parabola it is symmetric about the y axis the vertex is 0 0 s the focus is uh, 0 comma minus t is of the form comparing with x square is equals to minus 4by therefore minus 8y is equals to minus yy get cancelled and the value of the b is 2 therefore the focus is 0 minus 2 Equation of directrix is y plus b, that is y plus 2 is equals to 0, y is equals to 2, sorry, y minus 2 is equals to 0. Length of lattice rectum, that is a 4b, that is a 4 into 2, that is equals to 8. Endpoints of the lattice rectum. Now in this case that is a 2b minus b. This point is in the fourth quadrant. That is 4 minus 2 and next is minus 4 minus 2. This is in the third quadrant. Now the fifth one 3y square is equals to minus 16x. This is the parabola which is symmetric about the x-axis the focus is minus a0 vertex is 0 0 and if you find out the value of a which is comparing with 1 and 2 you will get minus 16 x is equals to 16 minus 16 upon 3 is equals to minus 4x and the value of a that is a is equals to 4 upon 3 focus s minus a 0 minus 4 upon 3 0 equation of directrix is x is equals to 4 upon 3 that is a 3x minus 4 is equals to 0 length of lattice rectum that is a 4a 4 into 4 upon 3 16 upon 3 endpoints of the lattice rectum that is a minus a to a at the minus 4 upon 3 2 into 4 upon 3 minus a minus 2a these are the endpoints of the latest spectrum find the equation of parabola
with the vertex at the origin axis y axis along the y axis passing through the point minus 10 minus 5 axis along the y axis now it's very simple the point is minus 10 and minus 5 that is the parabola passes through on the point minus 10 which is in the third quadrant therefore the parabola is of the form and it is a symmetric axis along the y-axis therefore it is of the form of x square is equals to minus 4by now let's see here this is the form upon judge kuru shakto we can determine what type of the equations that is x square is equals to minus 4by whose vertex is sorry whose focus is a wrong dhalaite not vertex vertex is 0 0 and the focus is 0 minus b therefore the equation of parabola is b is equals to 5 vertex find the equation of the parabola with vertex at origin axis along the x axis and passing through the point 3 4 now this parabola passes through the point 3 4 and axis is along the x axis axis of symmetry is x axis therefore the equation of the parabola is definitely y square is equals to 4 ax this is the standard form y square is equals to 4 ax the required form is y square is equals to 4 ax if we substitute the point lies on that parabola it satisfies the equation of the parabola therefore the value of a is 4 upon 3 therefore y square is equals to 4 ax and it is written as that is a 16 upon 3x this is the standard equation of this parabola that is a 3y square is equals to 16x you can see this again there Find the equation of parabola whose vertex is 0, 0 and focus at minus 7, 0. Therefore, the equation of the parabola vertex is Zero, 0 and the focus is minus 7 0 axis is along the x axis it's a definitely of the form that is a x y square is equals to minus 4 x y square is equals to minus 4 ax substitute the value 
करेंगे y square is equals to minus 28x now next is then we can see this y square is equals to minus 28x. Now next is problem number 5. Find the equation of parabola with vertex at the origin axis along the x axis passing through the point 1 minus 6 2 3 now now the axis is along the x axis vertex is the point is 1 minus 6 therefore it must be of the form therefore it must be y square is equals to 4x upon the point swarna and axis for no determine kuru shakti ki kontya prakar cha to form asu shakti therefore that equation satisfies the equation of the parabola that is the minus 6 square is equals to 4 into 1 into 1 therefore 1 that is a therefore the value of a is 9 and hence the equation of the parabola that is a y square is equals to 4x is equals to 4 into 9 into x that is equals to 36x second the point 2 3 is on the parabola equation is y square is equals to 4x satisfies equation of the parabola the value of a is 9 upon 8 therefore the equation of the parabola is y square is equals to 4 a x 4 a 9 upon 8 into x that is y square is equals to 9 upon 2 x Two y square is equals to nine x. That is, you can answer. Two y square is equals to nine x. Now next. Number six. Find for the parabola three y square is equals to sixteen x. Find the parametric parameter of the point that is a three minus four and twenty seven minus twelve. The equation of the parabola is 3y square is equals to 16x. Therefore, comparing it with 4a square is equals to 16 upon. Therefore, the value of a is 4 upon 3. Now, the parameter let t be the parameter of the point 3 minus 4 80 square and 280 therefore 80 square is equals to 3 the value of a is 4 upon 3 
that is square t square is equals to 9 upon 4 therefore t is equals to the value of my 280 is equals to minus 4 okay we will simplify this t is equals to minus 3 by 2 and now if we take the square value of t is minus 3 by 2 that we take here the equation t square is equals to 9 upon 4 hence the parameter of p is minus 3 by 2 now next is a 27 minus 12 a is equals to 4 upon 3 80 square 280 that is equals to 27 minus 12 now here we will equate it therefore after substituting the value 4 upon 3 t square is equals to 27 t square is equals to 27 into 3 upon 4 that is equals to again 280 is equals to minus 12 the value a is 4 upon 3 t minus 12 into 3 upon 2 into 4 t is equals to minus 9 upon 2 again we can see here For all the value of the tens on the y coordinate. Find the focal distance of a point on the parabola y square is equals to 16x whose ordinate is 2 times the axis are. Now the ordinate means y coordinate, axis are means x coordinate that is y is equals to 2x and we want to find out the focal distance whose ordinate. Now we will substitute here. The point which is on parabola px1 y1 and ordinate of p is twice axis that is y1 is equals to 2x1 y1 that is y square is equals to 16x if we substitute it that is y1 is equals to that is a 2x1 bracket square is equals to 16x therefore 4x1 square is equals to 16x1 and if we take 4x common then in bracket x is equals to 0 x1 is equals to x1 minus 4 is equals to 0 x1 is equals to 4 therefore if x1 is equals to 0 p is the that point p is a vertex p is a vertex whose focal distance is a is equals to 4 now what is the focal distance that is a x1 plus a this is the focal distance the value of a is 4. If x1 is equals to 4, the focal distance is x1 plus a. That is a 4 plus 4 and that is equals to 8. Now in first case, that is a x plus x1. The value of x1 is 0. That is a 4.
obtains the focal distance of the required point is 4 or 8. Now the problem number 8. Find the coordinates of point on the parabola. Also find focal distance y square is equals to x. Parameter is 1 upon 3. Given parabola y square is equals to 12x. Given parabola is y square is equals to 12x. Comparing with y square is equals to 4x. 12x is equals to 4x is equals to. Therefore, a is equals to 3. If point P has a parameter t, then pt that is 80 square to 80 and t is equals to 1 upon 3. Therefore, here we will substitute the value of t that is a 3 into 1 upon 3 bracket square plus 2 into a into t that is a 2 into 3 into 1 upon 3. Therefore, 1 upon 3 and 2. Therefore, the focal distance of P is A plus X1. That is a 3 plus 1 upon 3. That is a 10 upon 3. Therefore, the focal distance of point P is 10 upon 3. That is a 3 plus, that is a 10 upon 3. Now next is the focal distance of point P is 10 upon 3. Y square, 2y square is equals to 7x. Therefore, y square is equals to 7 upon 2x. Comparing with y square is equals to 4ax. P is minus 2. P of minus 2, that is a 280 square. P of T is equals to. Now here we will substitute the value of A is a 7 upon 8 and T is a minus 2 square. Plus, that is a comma, 2 into A, which is 7 upon 8 and T is a minus 2. And if we simplify this, then you will get the focal distance, you can again see this. The value of A is 7 by 8. P is minus 2. The coordinate of the P of T, that is 7 by 8 minus 2 square, 2 into 7 by 8 into minus 2 and the focal distance is x1 plus a 7 by 2 plus 7 upon 8 again the last part that is a 35 upon 8 this is the focal distance Question number 9. For the parabola, y square is equals to 4x, find the coordinate of point whose focal distance is 17. That y square is equals to 4x.
Therefore, you will get the value of a y square is equals to 4x. Equate it in that is a 4x is equals to 4x. Therefore, the value of a is 1. Now the point P x1 y1 be the required point on the parabola y square is equals to 4x whose focal distance is 17 x1 plus a is equals to 17 x1 plus 1 is equals to 17 therefore x1 is equals to 16 since p x1 y1 lies on y square is equals to 4x therefore y1 square is equals to 4x1 y1 square is equals to 64 therefore y1 is equals to plus or minus 8 hence the co coordinates of the required points on the parabola are 16 8 and 16 minus 8 you can see this again coordinates Find the length of a lattice rectum of the parabola y square is equals to 4ax passing through point 2 minus 6. Now the given parabola y square is equals to 4x. To find out the length of the lattice rectum, we require the value of the length of the lattice rectum for this type of the parabola is 4a length of lattice rectum. Substitute the value of point P that is a 2 minus 6. Minus 6 square is equals to 4 into a into 2. Therefore, the value of a is 36 upon 8. Therefore, the length of lattice rectum is 4a. 4 into 36 upon 8. that is equals to 18 this is the length of the lattice rectum number 11 find area of a triangle formed by the line joining the vertex of parabola x square is equals to 12y2 the end points of the lattice rectum now x square is equals to 12y this is the parabola which is a symmetrical about the y-axis now we draw the figure here therefore end points of the lattice rectum and these points are 2a and b. You know, see this here. The focus is 0, 3, L1, L2. No, this is the triangle. Equation of parabola x square is equals to 12y comparing with comparing this equation for 
4 by y x square is equals to 4 by y the value of b is 3 therefore the focus is 0 3 endpoints of a latest rectum are 2b and b minus 2b this is l1 and minus 2b b I will change here this is l1 and this is the l2 see this here 2b b and minus 2b b the value of b is 3 that is a 2 into 3 is 6, 6, 3 and minus 6, 3. These are the endpoints of the latest vector. The length of latest rectum is 4b, that is a 4 into 3 that is equals to 12. Area of triangle O L1 L2 that is 1 upon 2 OS into L1 into L2 1 upon 2 3 into 12 and that is equals to 18 square unit. You can also see again this if it is a fast. that is square unit this is the area now next next problem number 12 if a parabolic reflector is a 20 centimeter in diameter now this is very important and 5 centimeter deep find its of focus now we treat this the parabola in the question we have not given what type of that parabola it is a symmetrical about the x-axis or the y-axis but by default we take always the parabola it's a standard equation y square is equals to 4x now this reflector is nothing but the diameters this is the reflector is a diameter Its so length is a 20 centimeter and 5 centimeter is diff. Therefore, now see this figure 10 centimeter, the coordinate is a 5 0. This of the parabolic reflector along the positive x-axis works over zero which is origin equation of the parabola is y square is equals to 4 a x this is the focus of that parabola c is the midpoint of a b Therefore, the point A is 5 u 10 and B is minus 5 u 10. Therefore, the point 5 u 10 lies on the parabola y square is equals to 4 x. Therefore, the value of A is 5 u. Focus A 0, 5 u 0. Now you can see this here. We want to only find out the focus. Now next is 
problem number 13 find the coordinate of the focus vertex and the equation of directrix and the axis of the parabola y square is equals to y is equals to x square minus 2x plus 3. What is the equation of this parabola? y is equals to x square minus 2x plus 3. y is equals to x square minus 2x plus 3. Now we here we will make the right hand side the perfect square. The first term is x square. Now middle term is minus 2x. Then what will the second term? Second term is 1. Therefore, x square minus 2x plus 1 plus 2. That is 3 can be adjusted 1 plus 2. You can see this here. x square minus 2x plus 1 plus 2. That is y is equals to x minus 1 bracket square plus 2. That is a y minus 2 is equals to x minus 1 bracket square. Therefore, x minus 1 bracket square is equals to y minus 2 x square is equals to 4 b y this is of the form now here the vertex of this parabola is 1 2 this is the vertex of the parabola where capital x is equals to this is the capital y capital x is equals to small x minus 1 and capital y is equals to small y minus 2 therefore x square is equals to <coughs> comparing we get 4 b y Therefore, the value of B is 1 upon 4. Parabola is of the form x square is equals to 4BY. Therefore, the focus of the parabola is 0 comma B, x is 0, y is equals to B and the value of x is 1 and y is equals to 2 plus b. The value of small x, capital X is x minus 1 is equals to 0 and the value of capital Y is a small y minus 2 is equals to b. Therefore, y is 9 upon 2, x is equals to 1. The focus is 1 and 9 by 4. Coordinate of vertex are capital X is equal to 0, Y is equal to 0. But capital X is small x minus 1 is equal to 0. And capital Y is a small y minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. This is the vertex of parabola. Therefore, equation of the directrix is capital Y plus B is equal to 0. That is y minus 2. The value of y is small y minus 2 plus 1 upon that is equals to 0 and that is nothing but the minus 7 by 4 equals to 0 therefore 4 y minus 7 is equals to 0 equation of axis is x is equals to 0 therefore but what is a capital x capital x is x minus 1 is equals to 0 Therefore, x is equals to 1. Now, what type of that parabola? It is of this form. Problem number 14. Find the equation of 
tangent to the parabola y square is equal to 12x from the point 2, 5. Now we want to find the equation of the tangent to the parabola from the point 2, 5. This point is not on the parabola. That is, we will require the equation of the tangent from the point outside the parabola. That is, y square is equal to 12x, 4ax, therefore a is equal to 3. The value of a is 3. Now, equation of tangent in terms of slope y is equal to mx plus a upon m y is equal to mx plus 3 upon m now the point 2 5 lie on the parabola it satisfies equation of tangent therefore y is equal to mx plus 3 upon m substitute the x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 5. Therefore, it is a quadratic in m. That is a 2m square minus 5m plus 3 is equal to 0. That is, this is a, we can factorize this. Factors are minus 3m minus 2m plus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, m minus 1 is equal to 0. And 2m minus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, 2m minus 3 is equal to m minus 1. Equation of equation 1 and y is equal to mx plus 3 upon m, m is equal to 3 by 2. Substitute the value y is equal to 3 by 2x plus 3 upon 3 upon 2. Multiplied and reciprocal, you will get y is equal to 3 by 2x plus 3 upon 1 into 2 upon 3. Y is equal to 3 by 2x plus 2. If we simplify, that is a 2y is equal to 3x plus 4. Therefore, 3x minus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. m is equal to 1, y is equal to mx plus 3 upon m. The value of m is 1. x minus y plus 3 is equal to 0. These are the two equation of the tangent. You can see this again. Second equation m is equal to 1. Now next second y square is equal to 36x comparing with y square is equal to 4x, therefore the value of a is 9. Equation of the tangent in terms of slope, y is equal to mx plus a upon m. The point is to 9 lie on this tangent. That is 9 is equal to 2m plus 9 upon m. That is a 9m is equal to 2m square plus 9. Multiplying on both sides by m. Therefore, 2m square minus 9m plus 9. And we factorize it. 2m square minus 6m minus 3m plus 9 is equal to 0. 2m in bracket m minus 3. Minus 3 in bracket m minus 3 is equal to 0. m minus 3 and 2m minus 3. 
m is equals to m minus 3 is equals to 0 to m minus 3 is equals to 0 m is equals to 3 and m is equals to 3 by 2 therefore the a is equals to a is 9 m is equals to 3 9 is plus 9 upon 3 never y is equals to 3x plus 3 that is 3x minus y plus 3 is equals to 0 and a is 9 m is 3 by 2 this is the equation of the tangent multiple and reciprocal now again I will solve that this is the correct one the value of m is 3 by 2 multiplied and reciprocal you will get 3 by 2 x plus 18 upon 3 3 x minus 2 y plus 12 you can see this again these are the equation of the tangents these are the equation of the tangents that is the two tangents can be drawn from the point outside the parabola problem number 50 if the tangent drawn from the point minus 6, 9 to the parabola y square is equals to kx are perpendicular to each other, find k. Now the equation of the parabola y square is equals to kx comparing with y square is equals to 4x. Therefore, kx is equals to 4ax. The value of a is k upon 4. Let m be the slope of the tangent drawn from the point minus 6, 9 to the parabola. Then its equation is y is equals to mx plus a upon m. Now here we substitute the value of a that is the y is equals to mx plus k upon 4m. It passes through minus 6 and 9 therefore it satisfies the equation of the tangent that is the 9 is equals to minus 6m plus k upon 4m. 36m is equals to minus 24m square plus k. 24m square plus 36m minus k is equals to 0. If we simplify it. This is the quadratic equation in m. Its roots are m1 and m2 are the roots of the above quadratic equation the products of the slope m1 and m2 is that is a m1 into m2 minus c upon that is a c upon a and that's tangents are perpendicular products of the slope is minus 1 Therefore, k is equals to 24. Now, the problem number 16. Two tangent to the parabola y square is equals to 8x meets the tangent at 
the vertex in point P and Q. If PQ is equals to 4, then prove that the equation of the locus of the point P of intersection of two tangent is y square is equals to 18 bracket x plus 2. Now we will start the problem. Given parabola is y square is equals to 8x. Comparing with equation y square is equals to 4ax, the value of a is equals to 2. That is 4a is equals to 8. Therefore, a is equals to 2. Let a t1 and b t2 be any two points on parabola. The equation of tangent at a t1 and b t2 are the y t1 is equals to x plus 2t1 square. This is in the parametric form. And y t2 is equals to x plus 2t2 square. This is equation number 2. a is equals to 2 here. Next, let the tangent at a meet the tangent at the vertex in P, but the tangent at the vertex is y axis. We draw the tangent to that parabola at the point A and B. They meet the tangent at the vertex, but the tangent at vertex is nothing but the y axis. y axis whose equation is x is equal to 0. Therefore, to find P, put x is equal to 0 in 1. Therefore, you will get that is the y t1 is equal to 2 t1 square. Therefore, y is equal to 2 t1. This is the point P. Similarly, the point Q will be like this. Again, it will meet at the point Q and its coordinate is 0 to t2. It is given that the PQ is equal to 4. Therefore, 2 times T1 minus 2 T2 is equal to 4. That is a Y2 minus Y1 is equal to 4. That is a T1 minus T2 mod of T1 minus T2 is equal to 2. C is x1, y1, be any point on the required locus. Then C is the point of intersection of tangents at A and B. Therefore, to find See, we solve equation number 1 and 2. Problem is not solved, but this is the theory, theoretical type of question. To find the C, we solve equation number 1 and 2. That is equation number 1 minus equation number 2. That is a 2t1 minus, sorry, yt1 minus yt2 is equal to 2t1 square plus x minus x plus 2 t 2 square their subtraction that is x x z cancel take 2 as common then you will get t 1 square minus t 2 square and from the left hand side take y as common therefore y in bracket t 1 minus t 2 is equals to 2 in bracket t 1 minus t 2 
into t1 plus t2 therefore t1 minus t2 get cancelled therefore y that is a 2 in bracket t1 plus t2 this is the value of the y is equation 4 therefore from 1 we get that is a 2 t1 in bracket t1 plus t2 is equals to x plus 2 t1 square and after their multiplication that is a 2 t1 into t2 is equals to x therefore x is equals to 2 t1 t2 to find because if you multiply it on both sides, what is this? 2t1 square and on the right hand side 2t1 square that to get cancelled. Therefore, 2t1 into t2 is equals to x. This is the value of x. To find the equation of locus of C x1, y1, we eliminate x1, y1, we eliminate t1 and t2 from the equation. 3, 4, 5. That is, we know that t1 plus t2 bracket square is equals to t1 minus t2 bracket square plus 4 into t1 into t2. Now substitute the value of t1 plus t2. The value of t1 plus t2 is a y1 upon 2. Now these are the values x is the value that is a 2 in bracket t1 plus t1 into t2 that is a t1 minus t2 it's a 2 square t1 plus t2 is a y1 upon 2 and t1 into t2 is x upon 2 therefore after simplifying you will get y1 square is equals to 16 plus 8x1 therefore y1 square is equals to 8 in bracket x1 plus 2 replacing x1 by x and y1 by y and you will get y square is equals to 8 in bracket x plus 2 Now see this the parabola. That's a focus. Now the problem number 17. Find the equation of common tangent to the parabola y square is equals to 4x and x square is equals to 32y for y square is equals to 4x 4a is equals to 4 therefore the value of a is 1 let m be the slope of the common tangent it is a tangent to y square is equals to 4x its equation is y is equals to mx plus a upon m that is the equation of the tangent in terms of the slope all these problems are very tough you have to remember do the practice number of the times therefore y is equals to mx the value of a is 1 y is equals to mx plus 1 upon m it also touches x square is equals to 32 y therefore solve the equation 1 and 2 Put y is equals to mx plus 1 upon m into we get x square is equals to 32 in bracket mx plus 1 upon m is equals to 32 mx square plus 1 upon m. Therefore mx square minus 32 m square x minus 32 is equals to 0. The line 1 touches the parabola x square is equals to 32y 
Hence, this quadratic equation that is x has equal roots, the discriminant is 0, that is b square minus 4ac is 0. Therefore, we can write it is that is minus 32m bracket square minus 4m into minus 32 is equals to 0. And if we simplify this, that is a 32 bracket square into m raised to 4 plus 4m into 32 is equals to 0, dividing on both sides by 32m, and that's why you will get 32m cube plus 4m is equals to 0. That is a 8. 4 in bracket 8m cube plus 1. And if we solve this, that 8m cube plus 1 is equals to 0. 4 is not equals to 0. And now we factorize this. 2m bracket cube plus 1 cube is equals to 0. Therefore, 2m plus 1, 2m square. That is a 4m square. That is a minus sign should be there here. By mistake, it is a plus and it's a wrong mistake by me. Therefore, the value of m is a minus 1 upon 2 and the these roots are not possible. Here is a minus sign. You treat it as it's a minus sign. This is a mistake by me. Therefore, put the value that is a m is equals to minus 1 upon 2 therefore you will get y is equals to minus x upon 2 minus 2 and therefore if we simplify this then you will get this is the last equation that is x plus 2 y plus 4 is equals to 0 now the problem number 18 find the equation of the locus of a point the tangent from which to the parabola y square is equals to 18x are such that sum of their slopes is minus 3. That is a find the equation of the locus of a point the tangent from which to the parabola y square is equals to 18x are such that find the equation of the locus of a point the tangent from which to the parabola y square is equals to 18x are such that sum of their slopes is a minus 3 now the y square is equals to 18x 4a is equals to 18 therefore a is equals to 9 by 2 Let P x1, y1 be any point on the required locus. Let M be the slope of the tangent drawn from P to the parabola. Its equation is y is equals to mx plus a upon m y is equals to mx plus 9 upon 2m this is 1 since it passes through px1 y1 we get y1 is equals to mx1 plus 9 upon 2m multiply on both sides by 2m Therefore, this is the quadratic equation in M. That is a 2M square X1 minus 2Y1M plus 9 is equals to 0. This is the quadratic equation in M. Therefore, M1 and M2 are the two roots. Now, they are sum of the roots. Sum of the roots. That is a minus b upon a. That is a 
takes alpha plus beta is minus B upon A. By mistake, I had written here is a minus B upon A here, not C. So therefore, it is a minus 2Y1 upon 2X1, which is the Y1X1. And sum of their slopes is minus 3, but here is a minus B upon A. You treat this as it is a by mistake. Therefore, Y1 upon X1 is equals to minus 3. Therefore, Y1 is equals to minus 3X1. Therefore, 3X1 plus Y1 is equals to 0. Replace X1, Y1 by XY. Therefore, 3x plus y is equals to 0. This is required locus. Now, the problem number 19. Two towers. That is a, the towers of a bridge. Hung in the form of parabola. having their tops 30 meters above the roadway and the 200 meters apart that is the distance between them is 200 meters if the Cable is 5 meters above the roadway at the center of the bridge. Find the length of the vertical support. Supporting cable 30 meters from the center. Now see this first of all the figure. That is these are the towers, 30 meters in height. And distance between them is a 200 meter. These are the supporting wire. And it is above the 5 meter. Therefore, That is, we want to uh, produce your support at a distance of 30 meter from the center. Therefore, now see this x axis, y axis. Now, this is the shape of the parabola. It is of the form x square is equals to 4by and this total distance is a 200, the point A is a 125. You can see this uh, total figure. Again. Because this uh, total distance is 30, the coordinate of the point A is 125 and it is above the 5 meters. Therefore, this distance is that is equals to this is the y axis and this distance is 25 and this distance is 100 because these towers that it is distance between them is 200. This is the tower. This is the roadway. These two to towers. This is the supporting cable. 
we want to uh, produce a supporting cable at a distance of 30 meter from the center therefore let the vertex be at origin that is the lowest point of the parabolic cable and the axis is vertical the equation of the parabola it is of the form x square is equals to 4 by y since the point a 125 lies on the parabola we have x square is equals to 4 by y and substitute the values therefore the value of b is that is a 100 therefore the equation of parabola is a x square is equals to 4 into 100 into y x square is equals to 400 y bd is a vertically supporting cable which is 30 meter away from the center that bd cuts the x axis at c therefore oc is equals to 30 meter bh vc is equals to h then the coordinates of the b is a 30h now b is the point on the b is a point on the parabola it satisfies the equation of the parabola and we will get the value of h these are very tough questions actually therefore the value of h is 2.25 therefore the length of vertical support the length of the vertical support is 2.25 plus that much distance phi that is equals to 2.25 plus phi that is a 7.25 meter this is the if a bd is equals to 7.25 meter now see this figure this we find out this much distance now the last problems some problems are very tough uh, that's why you have to do more and more study to see the number of the times a circle whose center is 4 minus 1 passes through the focus of the pa parabola x square plus 16 y is equals to 0 show that the circle touches the directrix of the parabola now the parabola x square is equals to minus 16 y comparing it with x square is equals to minus 4 by y therefore the value of b is 4 if you compare it this is a para para in this form 
the focus that is 0 minus 4 the equation of the directrix is y minus b is equals to 0 that is y minus 4 is equals to 0 let r be the radius of the circle drawn with center 4 minus 1 S lies on the circle, that is the focus lies on the circle. This is the center. That is, we know the center as well as the point on the circle we can find out the radius by cs the radius is 5 therefore the perpendicular distance of c that is a 4 minus 1 from the directrix y minus 4 is equals to 0 now we will find out the perpendicular distance of that center from the directrix that is y minus 4. Therefore here replace y by minus 1 minus 4 upon in under root of coefficient of y plus coefficient of x but there is not x. Therefore minus 1 minus 4 upon 1 square plus 0 and you will get that is a minus 5 upon 1 that is a 5 and this is nothing but the radius of the circle therefore the circle touches the directrix of the parabola in this way we have completed some problems are very tough you have to do the more and more practice then you will remember this basically you have to remember that concept what concept is used here i try to explain in my way i hope that you will understood all the problems whatever that i had explained now we'll see in the next video till then goodbye